Okay guys, um, basically here is the printer. Um, and obviously mine's already set up. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you just how you install all the stuff you need. Now, I'm normally doing this right now. Basically you get this, you get it empty of course. Here is the roll. Um, so all you do is you just slide. You've got this little kind of segment here. And that slides just into there. And you get a little, I'm going to lift you up. You get a little kind of grooves it sits in. So I ain't going to go anywhere. Okay. Let's put you back down. And you lift this little lever. I'm going to show you this side. Lift that little lever up. Thread it through. Okay. Lever down. Close it. Turn it on. And press this little one. And you've got like a little cutter underneath. Okay, and that's one label as you can see. Now obviously this is just a blank label, but these are the ones that come with it. But that's now set. Okay, so if you press it, obviously, there you go, it's, all, it's saying it's already set. So, that is very, very easy to set up. And I'm going to jump to my desktop view to show you how you would um, now print it. Hey guys, uh, okay, so here we are on the shipping plan screen of my Amazon FBA. Now there is a piece of software that you do need, and it's Adobe Acrobat Reader. Now depending on when you watch this video, the version may have changed, but at the moment it's Adobe Acrobat Reader DC. Um, you can untick this optional part, you don't need McAfee Security Scan. If you want it, you can of course use it, but you don't need it. Um, and then just click install. Now obviously on a Mac, it will install the Mac version. I'm, I'm using Windows 10 as you can see here. Now I already have it installed, so I'm going to close this. Now I'm just going to bring up Adobe Reader because there's a kind of a, a few options I want to show you first. I had trouble with Adobe Reader uh, the first time I used it. Um, and what the problem was, was the, the software kept crashing every time I opened a PDF file. Don't know why, but what I did was I went up to edit, went to preferences, and under security announced, I unticked this. That enable uh, protected mode. That was on. Okay, so I just basically unchecked it, and then I clicked OK, and I restarted uh, Adobe Reader. This allowed me to then open up the, the documents that I needed. Now this here is actually an FBA label, but I'm going to show you it again here. I'm going to go on uh, work on shipping plan. Now let's, I'm going to assume that you've got a shipping plan going. These are two items that I showed in my test, in my FBA tutorial videos. Um, if you're not already on this screen, sometimes it starts on this screen, set quantity screen. Just go over to label products. And it doesn't really matter too much what labels. Um, I have the labels that I have in there are 29 by 90, but the, because Amazon FBA doesn't actually let you print on rolls, which obviously a lot of you have been having problems with, it's been coming out too small. Uh, I'm going to show you how you can do it properly. Now, so I'm just going to do uh, let's have a look. I'm just going to do 21. And I'm going to click print labels, and I'm going to do open with a dull breeder, or, or you can do save as doesn't really matter. But I'm going to do open with a dull breeder, and as you can see, I mean the size there is is just isn't right. It's too small. So we're just going to cancel that, and what happens is you get this screen here, which allows you to view your FBA labels. Now this is why it's important to have um, a dull breeder because when you go up to edit, there's a little option here called take a snapshot. You click take a snapshot, and using your left mouse button. You just drag a little box around the label. Okay, I'm just going to click do not show this again. Right, so now that's, that box is highlighted. You go up to file and then print. And as you can see now, this is now in that area that, that I've selected. Now for me, I'm using 29mm by 90mm labels. These were basically the free labels that came with 
uh, the printer. So because of that, obviously, I can print on those labels. Now, for me, it looked a bit too snug, that label. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose, take a snapshot. I'm just going to make that label a bit smaller. OK. And then file print. That looks a little bit better now. OK, so if I now hit print and then my brother QO is selected because I also have a Canon inkjet printer as well attached, but that's my brother the printer. And do print now. If you watch the webcam screen that I have kind of showing on this page as well, you'll you'll be able to see the printer at work. OK, so as you can see, the label's been printed. I'm going to cut it off. And as you can see here, the label is now printed. And it's that easy. Uh, it's obviously it's thermal, so there's no smudging. Doesn't matter if it gets wet or anything like that. And you can see the quality is very, very good. I'm not, I can't see my webcam screen at the moment, so I apologise if it's not centred. But yeah, so as you can see, it's that simple. Now, unfortunately, it does mean that you have to print your labels off individually. Now, you can just um, like. Um, keep doing them so for example do this once and then do it again and again and again before cutting it off that way you'll get them all on one and what I'll do I'll quickly show you that actually so with this one highlighted still I'm going to do print okay and then what you can do is go up to edit take a snapshot and then do this one file print and then print that one. Okay, so imagine if you had like 50 or 60 of them, then you could cut and then you'll have them all in a row. Okay, so you've got these two labels here, as you can see, reminiscing, and Lord of the Rings. And that is how you use this type of roll printer for FBA labeling. Um, you could also do the same with uh, shipping labels obviously you would probably need the larger width labels um, but you could quite happily then take a snapshot of say a Herms label or uh, a Royal Mail label and just print them on the the larger set labels I'm only using like the second largest I think it goes three three more times up yeah um, and, they, and the brother QL uses DK rolls so yeah that's how you would do it um, I saw a lot of questions about it and yeah, and it's that simple. So thank you for watching and uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll try and get to them. But uh, yeah, that's really that simple. So thank you very much.